everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at the crypto stocks, the the, the Bitcoin blockchain related stocks um, with, with uh, Bitcoin heating up and the cryptocurrencies ha having uh, had a nice bounce. Um, the, the cryptocurrency stocks are, are heating up as well. And so uh, kind of the top dog of this category right now, uh, um, you can make a case for would be Overstock, OSTK. Um, you know, it's the largest market cap uh, of the the Bitcoin related stocks, and, and so as you can see here, it closed up four percent today, and it also it does trade options, and it has been really good options trader if you can be on the right side of the trade. And, and so noticed it came down on, on the big pullback, and it hit that uh, 100 day simple moving average. That's the gold line there at, at 53.58. Notice how it's been holding. And then today there was a very bullish development. This is the move that we've been looking for for the last several days was a close above this lime line. That that's EMA. 8 currently at 58.32. The close above is signaling more upside potential. So now what we're looking for tomorrow is a close above EMA 13 at 60.57. If you see a close above 60.57, that would be really bullish. That could possibly lead to a run back up to the, the middle Bollinger Band and the 50-day simple moving average at 66. So there's a potential for a uh, you know a six-point move, six, seven-point move between the current share price and the middle Bollinger Band if it can break EMA 13. So keep an eye on overstock it had a macd bull cross down here in the 8 13 and 5 and then check out these green dots um the, the, that's psr they're getting ready to uh, uh that's parabolic sar sar stands for stop and reverse the dots are getting ready to flip below the candles when that happens uh many times a run follows and then uh, yeah you've got rsi and fasto heating up okay so take a look at riot r-i-o-t riot blockchain so this is interesting it closed up three percent today but the interesting thing is the uh um, a move above the middle Bollinger Band this week. Okay, so this is the move that we've been looking for. You know, we timed, uh, you know, we charted the bounce down here. Um, you had the, uh, the the bounce down here and close above EMA4 on the 6. And then what we had been looking for what was a close above the middle Bollinger Band. And then we put put out alerts that that had happened. You know, put it in a video uh, showing it happened here on Monday. And, and so that was signaling the possible start of a new uptrend. I used this uh, close back here in November as the example. The close above on this candle signaled the start of the this big uptrend. And so that's what we're looking for possibly happening here um, it, it is a new uptrend started. Notice how when it closed above the middle Bollinger Band after being below back in November over on the left hand side of the screen here, uh, a couple of black candles formed and then it took off. Well, well kind of a similar pattern here where you've got the white candle above and then you have a couple of uh, small uh, real candle bodies here holding middle Bollinger Band support. So basically 16, it's 1599 is the middle Bollinger Band. If 16 support holds, uh, Riot is in play. Okay. And the next target Target is all the way up here at the 50-day simple moving average at 21. So we're looking for a run to 21 if 16 holds. A close below 16 would put this 100-day simple moving average at 1472 on deck. You know, I just think with the setup right now, it needs to stay above 16 to, to, to remain in play, okay, for a long trade or, you know, to buy some uh, calls. Okay, so let's look at TEUM here. So, so yeah, Riot, you can trade options. As you can see up here on the top, it, it trades options, and that has been a moneymaker for people on the right side of the trade. And then you you have TEUM here. No options on TEUM. You know, it, it's only a $2 stock. Uh, no, notice that RSI is now at 51 and back in the bull zone. And then you have Fasto in the bull zone as well. And then check out the bullish crossover starting on ADX, the green line's crossing the red line to the upside. And so this chart looks interesting to me uh, with, with the close today right at the middle Bollinger Band. The middle Bollinger Band's at 208. Okay, so uh, 208 is the dotted purple line there. And that's the big level to break. If you see a close above that level tomorrow, Tomorrow, that could signal the possible start of a new uptrend. Uh, you notice that the middle Bollinger Band broke back here on the 22nd of January, and, and there hasn't been a close above that level, you know, since it's turned into resistance. So, um, you know, a, a, a close above that level and it turns into support, similar to what we were talking about at Riot, it could get moving again. The last time that it had a similar type of pattern was back here in, in December. Notice it closed uh, below the dotted purple line after being above. So, so it was below, broke above, broke below the middle. Bollinger Band, and then you know once it broke back above, that signaled the start of the uptrend. So you have a similar thing here. It's above the, the middle Bollinger Band, and then now it broke below, and then now we're looking for 
is a break above, you know, break above like this to signal the next start. So so keep an eye on it. We'll see if it can get a new uptrend going. Okay, look at SRAX. It, it closed up 24% today. And so this chart's really heating up. Keep an eye on it. It had a big candle today. 24% for this stock is a big move, okay? So uh, it was on light volume. So that just goes to show the, uh, you know, the sellers have tired after this big pullback. You know, they really walked it down on light volume. Look how small these volume bars are here. And, 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 and so now the, the today was the big bullish development. You know, back here on the 30th, it closed below EMA4, and it had been below that level all the way until today. And today it closed above EMAs 4, 8, 13, and the 100-day simple moving average. So that was a bullish close above four key levels. Now if it can stay above all four levels and then break the next level as the middle Bollinger Band at 456, that'll signal that it could possibly get a new uptrend going. And so we're looking for, you know, 450 to turn into support, and that would lead to a run up to the 50-day simple moving average at 514. That's the next big level to break after the middle Bollinger Band. Okay, look at DPW. Closed up 12% today, 12.5%. It's at $1.71 right now. It has a nasty downtrend going, right? So this is not a pretty chart. Um, you know, you've got this channel going here. Um, and so basically, it's hitting the top of the channel, right? So uh, so what it needs to do is break out of this multi-week uh, going on multi-month channel uh, downtrend. So you can see here it bounces off the, the, the bottom and, uh, you know, bounced off the bottom, you know, ran back back up, you know, hit the top, hit the bottom again. Now, now it's going back up to the top of the channel. And, and so the top of the channel is where it's hitting right now. And, and, and just above that's the 100-day simple moving average at 183. That's the gold line. And just above that's the, the, the middle Bollinger Band at 192. Now, now I, I mean, I think with how ugly this chart is right now and how it's been uh, in this prolonged downtrend, you know, if you're looking to possibly play this for a long trade, it might be best just to wait until it closes above that middle Bollinger Band for that signal that it's possibly getting a new uptrend going. It, the, the, the problem with loading too soon is you could get caught in this sideways action here, you know, and you could get stuck holding or possibly, you know, have to sell for a loss if it pulls back. Because if it fails to break resistance here, it could pull back down to the 200-day the simple moving average at 120 and test support. That that That's the downside risk. It has to turn that 100-day simple moving average and middle Bollinger Band into support to get a new uptrend going. It's heating up. It's right at resistance right now. So is it going to do what it did back here on, on the 31st of January and, and, and hit the top of the channel and pull back? Or is it finally going to bust through? It's right there. It's at what we call a flex point. And so a, a, a move is coming soon. It's either going to pull back or it's going to break out on, on tomorrow's candle more than likely. So keep an eye on it. M-A-R-A. -A. Okay, so it closed up 7% today. Now, now similar kind of pattern. Uh, these crypto stocks all got uh, attacked at the same time. And, and so notice how they walked it down. Same type of pattern. Today it closed above EMAs 4 and 8. You know, that, that's the first close above the lime line since, uh, yeah, all the way back here. Um, you know, the last close above the lime line is way back here on the uh, 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 20th of December. Okay, so th that that uh, on this uh, on the 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 21st on this candle right here, the 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 lime line turned into resistance, and there hadn't been a close above that level since until today. And so many times when EMA four and eight have been resistance for an extended period of time, and then there's a close above. Finally, after look at all these weeks, they didn't let it close uh, above, but today they finally did. And so that that's uh, you know this is computer algorithmic. Uh, program trading you know the machines walk this thing down you know not people you know what i mean they, they set the program and then and so maybe they've changed the program to start buying that that's what it looks like when, when they flip the script and and, and they, they ease up on the selling pressure uh, one of the first things you see is a close above ema's four and eight resistance the first thing is ema4 that you want to see a close above and now that it's above ema8 it could head higher so it needs to get above several key levels here but but keep an eye on it you know if it gets above this uh middle bollinger band and and 100 days simple moving average at the three dollar level it could really heat up okay look at nete closed up four percent today so yeah it's the same type of pattern big walk down big pullback it, it, this is wound so tight right now i mean look 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 where the the resistance is and support okay so resistance is the gold and blue lines right here and that's the the 300 and 100 day simple moving averages and supports the 200 day simple moving averages so you have you have uh uh one two three four five six six uh candles in a well seven you know if you count that well, six 
six in a row that where the where you know basically it, it's been channeling hard in this tight trading range right here. And, and one of these two levels are going to break. If it busts through the top here, that's going to signal it's ready to head higher. And you could see a run up to the 50-day simple moving average at 853. That would be the big level to break. If it drops below 626 and, and the 200-day the simple moving average, it's going to be a red flag and it could drop down to 550. But when you get a, a tight channel like this, you know, this is where it's wound really tight. Look at the really small volume bars. So this is in a holding pattern. And, and then notice the green dots here. The dots flipped above the candles when, when, when the downtrend was confirmed here. And, and, and these green dots have been above the candles the entire time until today. Today, the dots flip below. That signal stop and reverse. So it's possible that this downtrend is stopping and a new uptrend is, is beginning. So what, what needs to happen is it needs to break resistance there. Um, MACD is pinched on the 12, 26, and 9, and there was already a crossover on the 8, 13, and 5. And so, yeah, a break above uh, 7 resistance is going to signal that it's ready to head higher. Okay, look at NXTD. This is heating up as well. Closed up 8% today. Um, yeah, this is another one that got really driven down. I mean, this had hit 875 uh, back here on the on the December run. And, you know, now it's all the way down here at $2, you know. So bullish development today. Okay, so we've been talking a lot about the middle Bollinger Band. And, you know, the reason why we talk about this level so much is, is I'll give you a perfect example. Uh, just look over here at November and December. Check out the dotted purple line. Okay, all these candles are forming below that level. Now look right here what happened. Okay, finally a close above on the, uh, what is that, uh, the... Uh, 12, 13, 14, the 15th, 16th here of of, uh, of uh, December, there was a close above the middle Bollinger Band, and that signaled this big uptrend, okay? And so so it wasn't until the candles finally closed above that it signaled the change in trend until the, a new uptrend began, okay? And so down here, we've got, you know, the middle Bollinger Band broke, the candles came all the way down, it bounced off of the 200 and 300, it got above the middle Bollinger Band last week, but then it pulled back below, and then today it closed back above Above that level. So many times when, when a, a stock pulls above a key level uh, and drops below and then closes back above, it, it has a confirmed that level as support. And, and many times it can hold that level after a maneuver like that happens. So we'll see uh, 223 is the big level to hold. It has to hold the $2 support level, but really you want to see it stay above 220 right now and to keep it above that middle Bollinger Band. And then what you're looking for if you're a bull is this green line, 246. That's the top moving average on this chart. Once it breaks above Above that level and the candles are forming above that level it'll be above all the moving averages on the chart and the chart will actually be super bullish look at the Bollinger Bands the upper Bollinger Bands up here and the lower Bollinger Band was way off the chart and now look how tight they are now you have the upper Bollinger Band here and the lower Bollinger Band here it, it, it's like you're taking a champagne bottle and you're shaking it up and it's getting ready to explode and it's gonna explode and either down to the downside or it's gonna explode to the upside but 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 guaranteed uh, you know more than likely can't say guarantee or anything but more than likely, there's going to be a, 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 a nice pop or, or a big drop, one of the two. It's going to be a, a, a pretty substantial move, likely, more than likely, since it, the chart's wound so tight. When, once the chart gets wound super tight and you get this big pullback like this, you know, look at how the volume really dried up. You know, you have the, the, the front loading here. This is what we call a front load. Notice how... Uh, this uh, candle, this volume bar is bigger than all the other volume bars. So this is people more than likely loading before the next run, or at least that's that that's what it, it looks like. So we'll see if it follows through. Okay, let's look at GCAP. Closed up six percent today. The chart's heating up as well. Uh, notice the big nasty pullback. I mean, this went from thirteen five, you know, all the way down to six dollars in a straight line. I mean, they just walked that thing straight down. Now it looks like they may have flipped the script and, and switched that that sell program to buy you know that's all you have to do is just be on the right side of the trading program and then you can just jump in and piggyback along that's all we're doing here you know as uh, retail traders as, as small time traders whoever's watching this video you're likely not the the, the, the major baller and and the the uh, you know you're just uh, along for the ride you know you're not controlling the markets here you're just what we're doing is we're piggybacking on what the bigger players are doing and we're following them through the chart 
starts. And so right here, this was telling you major downtrend, the bears are in control, either be short or be on the sidelines. And then now all of a sudden th there's, there's a possible change in trend happening. Notice that there was a close today above the EMAs 4, 8, 13, the 200, the, the, the 300, uh, you know, simple moving averages, you know, major one, two, three, four, five, five moving averages were broken today with the close today or, or it closed basically right at EMA 13. And so, so it's really heating up here. If they can get above that $7 level, then, then you're looking at the middle Bollinger Band and 100 day simple moving averages, the key levels to break at 730. And then the big levels, the 50 day simple moving average at 784. Once it's back above that level, then it's back in business and it could get a, a, a nice uptrend going. But, but keep an eye on it. Once again, check out the dots. Now, now they, they flip below the candles, you know, so, so, so this is signaling a possible change in trend. The, the only thing is, is, is all these uh, moves are on very light volume and that's really not what you want to see at the start of a run. So, so it needs a volume spike. Got, got to get a volume spike to get the run going. And, and then uh, that's usually how, how it happens, you know. So it's heating up right now. And then what you're looking for is, is, is a, a larger volume bar and a push through resistance. And then that's a signal. Okay, hey, this is in place, similar to this kind of thing over here. Okay, and now let's look at LBCC to finish this uh, crypto stock video up for you um you know th th this is uh you know been in a nasty pullback as well uh you know it went all the way from uh 950 down to 250 and uh, um now now it's traveling sideways if the other uh stocks that i just showed you heat up this could as well you don't want to get in here while there's super light light volume you want to wait for the volume spike the volume will be the signal that 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 people are entering for the next run just wait for that volume and that should be the signal and the breakthrough above resistance once again look at the dots now below the candles signaling the possible change in trend um, you know sometimes you know the, 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 this could easily uh, run back up to these moving averages and stall out but yeah between three and four that that's that's nice percentage gains it's about a 33 percent gain back up to that that 300 day simple moving average and then if it could turn that 300 day simple moving average into support then it could really get going again right now it's just in a sideways channel and so we're looking for a break above resistance it always helps when you put in the the uh, the the uh, support and resistance lines as you can see here check out the channel and then uh, it's a, it's a break above resistance that the bulls are looking for here this high close here on the 7th okay thank you very much for viewing this video if you'd like to learn more about charts and technical analysis please come check out our chat you know we're, we're, we're teaching all through the day it's a great learning experience you know uh, you know it's only uh, 50 cents to 66 cents a day to, to be in the chat and, and you know I guarantee you I, I will uh, give you your 50 cents worth of uh, good information every day and much more than that okay so I'm here to help you uh, thanks for viewing the video I'll post the link to the chat below the YouTube video